Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day today to pop on over here, say, hey, spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. It is time to do some of my uh, long-term challenges. This is saving a year ahead for expenses next year, mostly in the term or form of medical emergencies. Let's get going with some of these big long-term challenges. Now, sloth. All right. With sloth, I use this 20-sided dice. What color for sloth today? I think we're going to do this color today. All right. I do... 1 through 20 down, and then 1 through 20 across. This is something I got from Kathy's Cash and Coin, and she uh, puts it all into individual envelopes. She has 20 envelopes. I don't want to do that because I use prop money, and that would take all my prop money. So I do it this way and put it all together in one envelope. And this is going to save me, I think it's going to be two years altogether, but it's going to be two years in the term of like mid-2023 to mid-2025. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, and 40, 50, 60, 5, 70, 75, 80, 85, 87, 89, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5. All righty. There we go. 195 dollars. Let's do slop. I got about 60 dollars today. So row six and three. Ooh, that's available. I'm going to move this out of the way so I can color. All right. Hope y'all are doing good today. Having a great weekend so far. And I'm going to take the three out in case I get lost with this pin because, of course, my pins are all now I've colored with them. So one and five. Perfect. Anyhow, I hope you have uh, some wonderful things going on this weekend. And most importantly, I hope you're going to get to spend some time on Easter with friends and family, right? That's the most important. Where can I put this? I'm going to put it over here. Can you see it? Yes, you can. So that's row one again and three. What the heck, Ola? What the heck, Ola? I think I have seven to put back. I do, and I'll grab a ten. I didn't try to get a lot of change because I know I have change in here. And row 20. All right. And 15. Perfect. That's good. And row three and 18. Oh, it's available. Excellent. Yes. I love it when I'm getting some of these bigger ones done. Okay, let me cool my jets here for a second and count and see what I have. 10, 20, 30, and I needed 18. So 5, 10, 15. I'll consolidate this when I'm done. 17, 18. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I need one more at least. I want to get at least $50 in here. Closer to 16 or 60 actually. 18 and 1. Okay, well that's available. Doesn't get me that much closer, but it is available. I just love how this is starting to really look full. Love it. Row 2 and 4 is already taken. So how about row 4 and 2? No, we, there we go. All right. Sorry, this is so slow going, but you know, oop, sorry, hit you. The die does what the die does. So row six, how about a big one? Three, it's taken. Row three and six. All right. <laughs> I guess we are just destined to be here together doing sloth for hours. All right. And I'm only going to do one more. If it's low, it's low. Row eight and 19. Sure, now I get 19. All right. Okay. Before I even consolidate, I got to put this back and grab a 20. I'm hoping to be able to get that 50 up there. 10, 20, 5, 30, 35, 40. Well, that's another four. That, that helps. All right. 20, 40. And then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. But let's do this. Five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's grab this. And now these two twenties and a ten. And we did seventy-two dollars today. 
that is a good amount. This challenge is from Lisa Grateful Me. She did uh, recently, at least I noticed it recently, add it to her um, shop so that you could purchase it because I know a lot of people love this challenge. There's just something about it. It is really, really special. Alrighty, so we have 290, oh, that's, I'm sorry, that was last month's balance. $700 in the bank, 8, 9, 50, 1,000, 50, 11, 50, 70, 90, 12, 10, 12, 30, 40, 50, 65, 67, 68, 69, and 70. Wow. This goes back into slot. That tracker's there because I count all this at the end of the month. Keep a total of what my amount should be so I can balance it to what's in the account. Alrighty, the next one is, I'm gonna grab a color die today and that'll make it easier to understand. So the color die is gonna be the page I go to. One through three is front, four through six is back. Okay, this is from All Things Kimberly. I'm going to the third page and I'm going to the back. Third page to the back. I wonder if this is my good scratcher thing. And then let's do that die a six. One, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I got nine dollars. Nine dollars. Do I have a one in here? I do not. That's fine. Five, seven, and nine. And I know we can do one more. And it's page four and front side. Perfect. And let's roll this one for the, well, I guess we're doing this dot right here. All right. We got $5 for that one. And a five, and we're gonna do one more. Page four. We're gonna do a different page. I don't wanna do the same side each time. No, no four, I'm telling you. Okay, page one, side two. Sometimes it doesn't listen when I tell it. And then one and two. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, when I first thought it, I thought it was a two. It's like, we're gonna be doing this forever. Okay, so I need $12. So 10, 11, 12, and then I'm gonna consolidate 10, 14, and 15, and 20. All right. And 20, 25, 26 for today. So in this challenge, 230 in the bank, 330, 50, 70, 95, 415, no. 230, 330, 50, 70, 90, 410, 15, 22, and 23. $433. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, next one. The lap of a pig. This cute little pig. And where am I at? I had some randomizer that I got to do this with, but I have three more left. I want to finish today in, with this money, and I have the back all colored in. So let's just scratch these three, since this is the last one in March, and we'll be all done. Two. Five. And one. All righty. Makes it easy when the stickers pop right off because I intend to use this again. Six dollars going into this one from Marlene Snow Gardener 307. The life of a pig who loves to, who wants to say but loves to shop. This one now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 192, 10, 230, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 97, 98, 99, 300 even. Wow. Fantastic. Yay. Okay, let me finish. Uh, all right, let me clear out some of this stuff and grab my book. All right, next we have the clouds, and I am going to do a couple of these. You know what? We don't have any. You know, I love a good teal. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Let's do seven, eight, nine, ten today in this. I'm going to color these in and be back.
Alrighty, $10. For those of you who are confused and saying, Dee, what do you mean $10? I am adding the numbers together on this. This is from Veronica over at 40 Plus Life. I did this challenge last year. I loved it, but it's way out of my budget. I think it's a $500 challenge. And so I'm just adding the numbers together so I can use it again. She did offer with the set, it came without numbers in the clouds, and I could have done that. However, I really like the numbers. I like the font, right? So 10, 20, I'm going to exchange these real quick. And so I wanted to keep it with the font in it. I'm just adding the numbers together. It's going to equal $140. 20, 40, 55, 60, and $62. All righty. Next, we have my little boxes. I need to take this paper out for now. Put this book aside. These are the little boxes that I did. And I'm trying to get these done because I made up some of these boxes to do as, um, like continue to do as giveaways through the times. But um, I did these, two of these for a giveaway and they cost like $10 to mail. And so I'm not gonna do it. And you guys are all worth it. I'm not saying you're not worth $10, but I can send you a lot more stuff than this and for the same money. So let's start with uh, one card and see if I can get two in. Eh, $10. I'm probably not going to get two cards done. Anyhow, so it just, it's like the post office should not make $10 for mailing this little tiny thing. And I am just not going to support it. I can put two or three things into an envelope and mail it to you for a buck. So I have better things to do with my $9. All right, like I said, you all worth it. It's not that you're not worth the, the money to mail it. It's just, you know, I have a hard time, like I've explained, I have a hard time spending when I feel I am being taken advantage of. And I kind of think we're there in some things. And I know the post office is a whole different situation. I understand they have to hand sort it and that kind of stuff. So I do understand why it costs more, but it doesn't mean it doesn't make me mad. Okay, I'm going to consolidate one more time. So this equals $21. Just because we're almost done with the big challenges, and then I'm going to need smaller ones. So let me see. 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, and 121. All righty. Perfect. Now, if you remember, last week I had to put the cute little bee in my green binder because we didn't even make it through all of the challenges. So I'm gonna get that binder out before we continue. And because we wanna make sure all of these challenges get loved, we'll go back to the blue one and start and get as far there as we can as well. This is from One Frugal Introvert. I love this challenge of hers. It is a dice challenge. Now, it's a pretty hefty dice challenge. So I am doing it where is if I roll a one, two, a one or a three, I put one dollar, a four or a six, I put two dollars in. Let's roll three dice today. So two ones and a three, I'm putting three dollars into this challenge. And I know that that seems odd to some people. They would be like, I'm just going to do two dollars and then the one. They would be like, well, D, don't you want to save as much as possible? I do want to save as much as possible, but I also want to do lots of challenges. I like doing lots of challenges. I also like being able to feature lots of shops. So doing it this way just ensures that I get to do both. And I mean, I could always come back if I needed to, but I have plenty of time to do this. So 22, 4, 6, and 27 into this so far. This is a way that you can do a dice challenge because they can be spendy, right? Depending on how many dice are on the page, they can be pretty spendy. That's a way that you can save money and still do the dice challenge. All righty, this next challenge, I wanted to finish this one because I hadn't done it yet. Let me get the book and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to keep this so I can clip it together when I'm done. Now, this challenge... I um, just haven't done it in a while because I kept not getting to it, right? And so I am rolling a die and each row. And then when I'm all done, I am going to just uh, tell the story all at once. Let me get a green because I haven't done a green yet. This helps me be able to tell the story. And a two. Well, I guess I have one more time on this. If I've done it before, I'm just going to roll a total of three times. And if not, I'll mark off one. But that actually was what I needed. And whew, look how it's working out. 
And I have a two. I just need a three or four in this one. I got a four. Well, that's good. I'm rolling these all naturally. And a two and a one. One more time and I'm choosing one. Okay, we're going to choose that one. All right. So the way this works is now I'm going to tell you the story. And the color dots align with the boxes. So do you wanted to spend some money? So she took the bus because that was number two. And I went to Nordstrom's. I was wearing, what was I wearing? Boots and spurs. Wow. Okay. I was on the bus at Nordstrom's with boots and spurs. That might not be out of place in Texas. I don't know. And she bought, what did I buy at Nordstrom's? Bread. Okay. I guess Nordstrom's is selling bread now. Good to know. And I charged it. Now I got to double the last amount. So I have to pay eight, 12, 14, 17, 19 dollars for this challenge and i'm going to finish it because i thought i was already finished now there's no more to do so i'm going to tell the last story d wanted to spend some money so she headed to or so she saddled up my horse see i should have had the boots and spurs this time but i saddled up my horse and i headed to petco well, that's, I bet, I wonder if horses can go into Petco's. I know they let dogs and cats in. Well, I'm taking my horse in, right? Because it's Petco. And I was wearing, what was I wearing? I was wearing jeans. Hey, this is actually making sense, right? My horse to Petco. I'm wearing some jeans. It makes sense. I bought some cat litter. Oh my gosh, this is totally lining up. And it cost me $3. $3 cash litter. All right. So in this one, I'm saving five, ten. 10 15, 18, 21 dollars. And this challenge is finished. This is one of those, I'm not putting this on my shop because it's an incredibly specific challenge. And it I don't think that people would want that or anything. So that I just had fun with it. I can be kind of silly and I just have enjoyed it. Let's consolidate this. 10, 20, 30, 40. 5, 50, 55, 57, 59, and 60. 20, 40, and 60. We're consolidating because this is all done. And I haven't finished many of these this year because they were all so big. I don't even know if I've uh, told you what I'm doing with those. All right, so this is 3, 30, and 20, 40, 60, 82 dollars in here. All right, $82 from D shopping. I think it's so funny that the very last one actually made sense. None of the rest of them made sense, but the last one did. All right, I'll show you this in a minute. Let's just put it back there. And that is done for this one. Now, Steph's on a budget. Okay, got my brown pen. We're only doing three today because I am broke. Between all the sloths and the gnomes and the cards and then... Wanting to finish up that challenge. I could have not played the last one, but you know, it was super fun. I had a blast doing that challenge. And two and three dollars. So sorry, Steph, you just get one today. That's okay. It'll be here when I come back. 22, four, five, six, and seven. Cows on a swing. Look at that. I just did some challenges. Pigs on a swing. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun putting animals on swings and making savings challenges out of them. And we're not going to start this one. Budget and Grow is back. If you haven't seen Akiata over at Budget and Grow, go give her some love. She is back in the States. And I'm not going to start this one from Tracy yet either. As I said, I'm trying to finish a few of these. And I want to try to get that done before I start a bunch of new ones. All righty. Let's get one of these yucky markers that always annoy me. Some annoy me more than others. Okay, let's try this orange. And let's see how far we can get in this today. Okay. And did I put a mark where I ended up last time? I did not. I must have made it through to start. And I did change some of these numbers. You will see that when I go. What did I get, you guys? Did I roll this one and get a three? I think so. One, two, and three. So the large icons. The large icons are $2. We can do more than two. And then one. So another $2. Yeah, this marker's not too bad. It's just some of them are so, it's like not only are they pilly, and I know that's not a word, but they also um, are streaky or whatever. So one, two, three, four, and five, and three dollars. 
And I'm gonna do one more and then I'll put a mark on here as to where I am. So I'm gonna put this two back and grab a five and three. One, two, and three. The fishbowl, that's a small icon. That is one dollar. All right, thank you, Jenny, for this fun challenge today. It was pretty darn fun. And I have in here, this now has 20, 30, 45, 55, 62, four, and 65 dollars. And I know where there's some change if I need it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the blue binder. Okay, let me show you. We start out by showing you what I'm doing with the completed challenges. Now, you know what I should do? Hold on. Grab this one. I don't have a thing on there. Some of these I just printed out on paper if I know they're going to be a um, category that I am going to keep for a while. Printed out on cardstock, however, as I mentioned, I'm not doing cardstock anymore because it seems to be damaging my printer. It damaged my other one, and I noticed that my print heads had lines for a little bit. They went away on my new one, but still happened. So, completed challenges. This one is gonna go into my box of finished challenges, and this money will go into here. And I wanna tell you the reason that I'm putting these completed challenges back or in here is because this money that I have, it's going into a, an account. So I'm dispersing it out of my retirement account, getting the taxes paid on it, and then it just sits in another account. However, when I convert this and make it long range, I put it into a CD. Well, the CD that last year's money in is not mature yet, so I am leaving it here until that money that CD matures, and then I'm going to add some money to it. I don't want to, I think I could add it to the current CD, but it's not at that great a rate, right? Because it was a, a, a longer period of CD. So I don't want to add to it at the lower rate. So I'm just going to stuff this in there for now. I'm getting uh, ready there. As you can see, some more are getting ready to be done. And so I need a place to put those. Okay, now we've got a little bit of money left. Let's go to Mischief Budgets. We only have two of these left. Oh my gosh. I might just turn right around and re-sticker these. Although I probably will wait until close to Christmas because then I can feature another shop and do these about when, you know, they should be done because it really is way past Christmas. So seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put this back because I really could use that. And this now has $50 in it. It's a $50 challenge. How does it have $50 in it? All right, I'm going to put that back. I don't know what I did, folks. But should have 47 in it, so that's what it's going to have. Ooh, what a mess. Okay, and Budget with Mama Bear. This was a freebie that she gave away. Loved it. It was a little play on the Stanley Cup. Hey, let's go ahead and finish this up today, too. Six dollars. I'm going to peel that one off, too. Eight dollars. I put those stickers on here. She did not, and I use those because they are not the best stickers. And since I didn't laminate that, I thought I would just use up my non-optimal stickers. So we're going to consolidate this because we want to put the biggest in the envelope in the back. All right, 20. This has $50. Let's mark this with the date. That's going to go into the box of completed challenges. And look, I have more in here. Woohoo! Yes. Fantastic. Getting some completed challenges, which means I can thin some of these out. Next one of my favorite challenges, this one and the other one from Champagne and the ones I got from uh, Madeline are two of my most favorite challenges because they're all about camping. And I like camping. Two dollars. You know, I've only been, I've been trying to only do one of these at a time, but I can do more than two dollars. So we're going to do one more. I don't want to rush, rush my way through these, which is why I, you know, have been doing one at a time. Seven dollars is going into here. I'm going to take five. No, I'm going to get two, seven, and then take these two fives and get a ten. I think that's what I was doing before, but oh well. This now has 20, 30, 40, 52, and 53 dollars in it. I have a good amount of money left, you guys. Yay. 
Don't worry, I'll edit a bunch of the in-between stuff out so that you're not here forever. Next is mine, and this is Steampunk Dogs. And that is this challenge right here. And I think I ended up at this five last time. So let me get a dice and let's roll. I'm going to get this Sharpie because the brush end makes it quicker to see. I did that again. What did I roll? Oh, well, okay. We're going to use a red one. So one, two, three, four. Now on this one, it's a bit different because I color them all in when I pass and I scratch them off. So, well, you know what? I don't think I scratch them off. I think I'm just supposed to color them in. So that's fine. Because then I'm gonna end up with a bunch of these to scratch off. Okay, so this is almost done. So let's do this last one. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five for this. And then we're just gonna do all these uh, scratch offs and we will have finished another challenge and by we as always I mean me I'm gonna get this black one I'm gonna get this black one so I can write the amount of the scratch off in there okay let's get five ten dollars out because it was one two three four five and then you land on one is five all right this is another one I didn't put into my shop because it's also very specific $5. I'm not going to worry about cleaning these off because it's coming out of this book. And $6. And the last one, $9. Woo! Okay, do I have $11 to put back? I do. I can get a, well, I guess I don't need $11. I have a dollar to put back. I can get a 10. How much did this challenge end up with? Fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, five, ten, fifteen, and sixteen dollars. And this did not have a designated amount, of course. Okay, this is one more going back here into my completed. Oh, you guys, this is really good because I, like as I said, I've really been wanting to thin this down. Next week, I won't do it on camera with you and born you, but now I will have um, moved some of the ones from the green into this binder so I can thin my challenges out just a bit. Fantastic. All righty, this is going to be a me challenge, but I'm not starting it yet. And this one from Liz and Les. This is the Shroom Shroom, and I do have another challenge ready for her. Let's do, I did these backwards. Let's do $7 in her today. Five, six, and seven. So 25, 32, 4, 5, and $36. Excellent. I do not want to finish Liz's early. And reinventing Renee. This is a challenge that you build upon the ones in the past. So for instance, when I finished these nine, I put them in here, and that was the first nine of here. So I only have 15 in this challenge altogether. Let me color one of these in, and I am going to be right back. Okay, so this has three more dollars in it. Now there's $18. So the idea is, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. The idea is I go to this and 18 of these is already gonna be covered by this money here. So I'm gonna color in the ones I should and I'll be right back. And I'm gonna go ahead and put two more in here. All right, so now I have $20, and I'm sorry, I need to do one more of these. I was slacking. I only did 13 when I was supposed to do 18. All right, so anyhow, I decided to do this correctly this time. I had done it in the past and I did all just separate challenges. But I have really become a fan of demonstrating to people how you can take your small amounts of money and make, turn them into big amounts. Because as you can see, as these challenges get bigger, these become individual. So if you didn't have $5 to put all in one week, you could do it one at a time. 
Same with these here and same with the bees. And I just think it's really nice because there are so many of us that do not have hundreds of dollars for savings challenges each month, but we wanna see our progress and we wanna do some that have the larger numbers. It just may take us a while to save for a large number. So I am really happy to be doing that in that the manner it's supposed to be done. And here is another one of mine. And are we going to finish this today too? Oh my goodness. $2. It's going to be a long video, but on the bright side, I'm going to have finished a bunch of challenges. $12. Yay. I would usually re-sticker with this, but this is one of mine. Oops, and I want to sell this back because it's going to be sitting back in that envelope. There's no reason for... So 20, 30, 40, 55. Exactly what's supposed to be in there. Yay. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that completed envelope. Yes, you guys, I'm so happy. And I'm going to write that in Sharpie on the back because I finished it. Woohoo! Uh I'm gonna skip ahead real quick to make sure I get this one done because it's the last one I need for this month. And I am doing $2 for each icon instead of five, just because I didn't want to leave that much money just sitting in this envelope. And so I'm gonna take this last $2 and I am done with March, got it done on time. So now I have 10, 25, 27, 29 and $30. Let's go back to Jenny's Simply Living Saves again because I love her challenges. And I'm adding the numbers together if it's over 15. So for instance, this would be five and this would be seven. So that's $12. So I said five and seven for 12. I'm gonna do, it. you know what? Let's do another seven and finish this one. I'm going to be doing a major reorg of this binder. It's going to be totally different next time you see it. All righty. So if I counted all of these right, it should equal 75, 50, 65, 70, 75. I'm taking this. I'll be right back. Got into my prop door. 75 more dollars going in to the finished completed envelope. If you all are bell ringers, hope you're ringing for me. Ding, 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 ding. All righty. You guys, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is going to be a thinned down binder by the end of this video. $4 is all I had left in this little challenge. Fantastic. I'm going to be able to bring out some of my new challenges. I've had my eyes on a couple to purchase, and I'm going to go get those. So $20, 30 40 $50. Going to grab that $50 out of my prop door. Look at this. It's going in. And Okay, we can't finish this one because we don't have enough. Five, ten. Let's just do one, and then we'll put the rest in froggy. All right, that's this pin right here. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Madeline, for this amazing challenge. These boho dogs are a tremendous value. I think there's nine of them in the set. I don't want to misspeak, but I know there's a lot. So go over to Madeline's uh, Etsy and check it out because it is a good value. All right, going to grab a green, and I have five, six, seven dollars. So I'm going to color in two little squares of my frogs. That's one dollar, two dollars. And this frog's going to take up, totally take up the leftover, which was $5. I finished my challenge. I finished Budget with Mama Bear's challenge. Another one of my challenges. Another one of my challenges. Jenny's challenge. And another one of my challenges. Yay! This is so cool to get these done. I'm going to throw them into that big box that is quickly filling up. I hope that each and every one of you have an amazing rest of your weekend. Please if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Leave a comment down below, share. If you prefer to be a silent watcher, that is okay as well because I just appreciate any support. And until the next one, bye.